guys. So we're going to talk about Case Katami a little bit. I really like this hold down. You see it a lot in judo and in wrestling. Not as much in jiu-jitsu, but I think there is a place for it in jiu-jitsu. So really important when you're getting this hold down, I want to keep his elbow, his shoulder, and his head off the mat. I like to tuck inside the knee here for the hold down, and it makes a nice hold here. You can come underneath this elbow, kind of to the tricep area, rotating the elbow up, puts a lot of pressure on his shoulder here. He doesn't really like that. It's a nice, solid hold down. So as far as this position, I want to know what to look for and what to look out for. So what I'm looking for is, as far as attacks is, first I'm looking at this arm. Is it available? A lot of times our guys are pushing up here, so I'll use this inside grip, I'll lean as far as I can, and then I lean back and I use my leg to reach up, catch that wrist of the knee pit, make my figure four here, lock in by the ear, and then I separate the hand from the head by just extending here. So that'll be option one from Casey Gatombi. Again, rotating that elbow up, gripping the tricep, lifting the shoulder, tucking the knee under, securing the head and arm by grabbing my own inner thigh. If the arm is out here, I'm looking to attack it. A lot of time the guys it's trying to get pressure release, my hand goes inside. I lean as far as I can down. I lean back while I'm holding it there. Get a nice bite. Figure four, I like the three finger grip here. And then I stretch. So again, head and arm off the floor, tucking that knee under nice and tight. Having this free hand to work with. The hands here, I try to push. If he's pushing back, I'll palm the back of the tricep, move my head out of the way, cross it in front of his neck. I turn to my knees until my head can get down here. Ear to ear is really important. I want to lock the bicep, knee and the hip here. This leg's posted out, squeeze as I'm driving forward, adding all my weight. If I can't make this grip, you can use the gi sometimes, and it's a nice grip here. Same thing, squeeze. And then if it's a bigger guy, I go three finger grip, ear to ear, driving my weight forward, and squeezing. So, arm triangle from Casey Katami. The hand's here, he's pushing. I palm the tricep, move my head out of the way, slide it by. I turn to my knees, my one knee, securing with my head. No matter how tight things are here, if my head's not tight, he's gonna walk his arm up and over. All right, so my head needs to keep his arm trapped there. Try to lock the bicep. Drive and squeeze. If I can't reach there and I got the gi on, you can use this little handle. And if I can't reach either of those, I'll go three finger grip. I want the blade of my wrist behind his neck. So this grip's not the one, it's gonna be here. Three finger, ear to ear, squeeze and drive. Again, nice strong case of Katami. Palm it by, hold it till I can secure one of these holds. Sometimes you get here and the guy will answer the phone. His right hand will go to his right ear and he kind of defends it well. When that happens, I'm looking to catch his wrist, pull it behind my head and then I rotate his wrist out. There's an Americana right there. I'll either get that or he'll grab his hand, pull it back across. That's where I wanted it anyways. Lock and squeeze. Again, lifting. Sliding that knee under. So depending on where this hand is, is how I'm gonna attack it. If it's, I can force it down, I will. If he's defending that by pushing it back, I'll change it over. If he turns a little bit to his side, I'll let him. I'll go short arm. Fingers in for the Ezekiel, and that's a nice finish too. So that's right off of the arm triangle. He's turning, I'll shorten this arm. Fingers in the sleeve, short fingers here, so he doesn't try to bend him when he's defending him. And then I straighten my arm here. Arm in Ezekiel, off of the arm triangle. The guy turns, slip, slide, get the tap. Again. Head and arm, lifting that shoulder, sliding my knee under, grabbing the inner thigh. Sometimes this arm's not available. He's got, he's got a bear hug on me. He's defending that technique. When that happens, I look for this technique. I'm gonna kind of roll him up, look for that near leg, and I grab inside my thighs. I'm gonna cross my feet, straighten my legs, and it's gonna make it really tough for him to breathe right there. I don't always do this on a 
on a lankier guy or a flexible guy because I know that sometimes when I'm here and I'm reaching back, they're looking to step that leg over the head, right? And I don't wanna be there. So knowing your partner or opponent is important for this technique. Bigger, stronger guy, maybe not as flexible. I'll look for this move. Reaching back, hook the knee. You can just squeeze here, but if you scissor your feet and straighten your legs, you just can't take a breath in. Really heavy on his chest. Big, strong guys can get that from here too. Just from here, lifting the head and putting a lot of weight on the chest. Similar uh, pressure, but I like to come back, hook this in here, and straight. All right, so one more variation off that arm triangle. It's really nice. Popping it by. And I'm just gonna go with a short arm triangle. I want the blade of my wrist on the side of his neck there. I like the three finger grip. Now I'm gonna put my knee on top of his hip to keep him from turning away. I pull on the side of his neck and I use my head to push his head to the side. And it's a little bit of a neck crank, kind of like a Dars, with the blade of that wrist right across the side of his neck. So just another variation, a little bit of a short arm triangle. <laughs> 